but into game one. One, two, one, back Wait, Banjo versus Sephiroth. Of course, if you pass Rix, your goal is to just try and keep Creepers at mid-range as much as possible at that sword range. You can see he's already been forced to corner himself. But uh, he's honestly getting more damage regardless. It's just really difficult for Srix to try and keep him there. The Wonder Wing out of the corner, very smart. Yeah, no, you literally just like, even though you're getting stuck in the corners, Banjo, you have five get out of jail free cards whenever you want them. Yeah, and you're gonna make the most of those extra jumps now as well. You can see that. Because Ooh, no. Sephiroth. Yeah, dying super duper early, actually. Really, really well played from Srix, but they will lose the stock immediately afterwards. And I love how as soon as you mention those extra jumps, those extra jumps get caught. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you, you gotta watch out as well because when Seth gets warming, he can keep up with those extra jumps. Yeah, that is true. But yeah, the idea behind using those jumps is that Seth's hitboxes are normally kind of narrow, but he has obviously got up air and he has got the ability to just kind of jump up and catch you. It's been that wonder when he's landing itself pretty really well, just getting out, getting more into that. Oh, wow, okay, that egg gun could be. Uh, that could be fatal to Sephiroth on soft stage. Especially with how long you have to wait with Sephiroth's recovery just to charge it up and get the big one into that far off stage. Yeah, you, you gotta wait a while for Octo Slash, but it's so safe once you finally get it off. But of course, if you have an option like grenades, I guess you can kind of challenge it without really risking anything. A beautiful recovery mix-up, but Srix just waits and reacts, and this is getting tense now. Ooh. Ooh. A little bit of an SD, but it's fine. You see, we've seen the creepers be able to just, you know, get the stock back instantly, and, you know, a very lightweight character, Sephiroth, sitting at almost 100%. That could be a kill at any point, really. But Srix, very good at just getting around that recovery. Oh, I like the, the I like the idea from Srix to try and scintilla that grenade and then just use the, the long lastingness of that hitbox. But not working out entirely. And I mentioned how like Creepers was kind of cornering himself in the beginning, and he hasn't really stopped. And that's been the main problem for him throughout this game, I think. Because yeah. Sephiroth Ledge is no joke. Yeah, you know, Sephiroth Ledge is really good. Just cornering yourself there isn't the best move. Especially when I said earlier about the Wonder Wings, you know, right there being used, and then Srix is just getting around it and punishing it. Now they're all out of one. But none... Yeah, none left on the set. Or the game, sorry. It'd be funny if you only had five for our set. I would prefer that. Uh, <laughs> that would be really funny and also really dumb. Like... You're <laughs> really, really stupid. Um, but a happen. great F tilt there. Hitting yeah. the sweet spot beautifully and really great like stage control and ledge trapping from Srix and just taking advantage of the fact that yes Creepers is cornering himself because he has to to try and get that grenade out to try and have the setups that he's used to. I do think seeing more Brugal Blaster at those kind of ranges would be a little bit better. Uh, and if Creepers does know the tech I think that would come in handy because you need that kind of burst range. Yeah, definitely. Relying on a lot on grenade at this point. When, as soon as you mention yes. using more Regal Blaster, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Can they listen to me? Uh, still cornering himself a little bit though, which can be a bit of a problem. You see that nice and little trick? Is that... Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> you you didn't need to commit that hard. <laughs> I think Strix is just like, okay, I'm a game ahead. Let's see what I can do on stream. <laughs> I want to be. It's, just, like, it's almost frustration. Like you see someone pick the same option over and over again, and so you just decide to to try and punish it in the most disrespectful way because you're just mad at them for picking it. Oh my god! All right, that's they're gonna die anyway. But it's mad that the invincibility saved them from the scintilla. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that's what it is with Banjo. I mean it's like fully invincible. Yeah. 
smart from Srix to just wait out the eggs and find, find the spot. But Creepers needs to kind of think about what he's conditioning when he is going for those eggs. Like, we're going to condition the back air to the top, so you need to think about that and then try and intercept it when you can. Um, and then just down air through the platform. It can be dangerous there. Yeah, no, but, but thankfully it hit. And Srix was able get a little bit of advantage off this, which is my stage control. Strix just being patient and doing a really good job of finding his way out of the corner. And when, you, when you're on Hollow Bastion as well, like, you can just use Seth's sword across most of that platform. Force whoever you're playing against to go above it. And Strix starting to nail people down, you know, slash punish which we thought he was going for in the beginning. Yeah, definitely. Oh, they're very good at mesh and just jumping away from that up tilt. Yeah, brilliant mesh. You are playing a light character, so he honestly might have died there. Like, reminder that he, he's playing a character with Pika and Kirby Wade. I always has a uh, that light. Like, it doesn't make sense. Why is he that light? Alright, Creepers with a little bit of a headbang as he catches Sprix trying to get off the platform. Mini pop off there, and we are straight to even. We need a side stop now for Creepers. Yeah, but yes, you saw in the face cam that Creepers just composing himself a bit, taking a deep breath before this final stop. Some really smart shield pressure though, love for poke as well, but unable to make too much out of it. That's the thing that you do have to worry about with that is that your damage per hit is not worried. Yeah, a lot of bangers. So if you don't find your opening, it's it's rough. We've seen it all the time though, right? Um, the Creepers is just not really able to find that opening a lot of the time, just getting shielded or getting punished. Yeah. It's a long game when Banjo tries to trip away and just make the most of it. But, you know what? Creepers is doing it. He's finding a way to keep Srix out. And Srix, yeah, by the way, uh, we might not have this, but Srix, of course, is a member of Kange Esports from Australia, traveling with Jay Dizzle and Vin S and uh, Raze, I think? No, not Vin S, sorry, Raze. So, a lot of Australians kind of traveling down, there also can be boss battles as well, I think. Uh, it's really nice to see Aussies get outside a little bit more, uh, because they are a strong region, but they just don't get the opportunity to travel that much, and Srix making an upset, <laughs> poking away at Creepers. And uh, that will be the set. Yeah, no, Srix just going all the way up there with those two jumps in the air. Oh, sorry, uh, Srix not making up, so my bad. But uh, yeah, poking away at Creeper. And that was interesting, especially because Strix is like, was kind of known for his Roy. He's made the transition into Sephiroth really well, I think. I know, definitely, definitely. We were seeing a very good Sephiroth gameplay there from Strix. You know, knowing his strengths, knowing what to do, and just how to like use that gigantic sword to just poke away and just keep away. And then also using those amazing nair combos whenever they got the chance at low percent. Right, we are moving on.